ISM code was adopted in November 1993 by the International Maritime Organization by Resolution A.741.18. It came into force on 1 July 1998. IMO provided guidance on implementation of the requirements of SOLAS, Chapter 9, and the ISM code in Resolution A.788.19, Guidelines on the Implementation of the International Safety Management, ISM, Code by Administrations. Objectives of the ISM Code To ensure safety at sea, prevention of human injury or loss of life, and avoidance of damage to the environment, in particular, to the marine environment, and to property. ISM code requires companies to establish safety objectives as described in Section 1.2 of the ISM code. Purpose of the ISM code is to provide an international standard for the safe management and operation of ships and for pollution prevention. Aim of the ISM code is to ensure appropriate organization of management to enable it to respond to the need of those on board ships to achieve and maintain high standards of safety and environmental protection. Content the ISM code. Part A. Implementation. 1. General. 2. Safety and environmental protection policy. 3. Company responsibilities and authority. 4. Designated person, S. 5. Master's responsibility and authority. 6. Resources and personnel. 7. Shipboard operations. 8. Emergency preparedness. 9. Reports and analysis of nonconformities, accidents and hazardous occurrences. 10. Maintenance of the ship and equipment. 11. Documentation. 12. Company verification, review and evaluation. Part B. Certification and verification. 13. Certification and periodical verification. 14. Interim certification. 15. Verification. 16. Forms of certificates. Compliance with the ISM code became mandatory with the adoption of SOLAS. Chapter 9. Management for the safe operation of ships. Definition of safety management system means a structured and documented system enabling company personnel to implement effectively the company safety and environmental protection policy. Interim document of compliance may be issued when 1. A company is newly established, or 2. New ship types are to be added to an existing document of compliance, following verification that the company has a safety management system that meets the objectives this code, provided the company demonstrates plans to implement SMS meeting the full requirements of this code within the period of validity of the interim document of compliance. Such an interim DOC should be issued for a period not exceeding 12 months by the administration or by an organization recognized by the administration. A copy of the interim document of compliance should be placed on board. An interim safety management certificate may be issued following verification that Point 1. The document of compliance, or the interim document of compliance, is relevant to the ship concerned. Point 2. The safety management system provided by the company for the ship concerned includes key elements of this code and has been assessed during the audit for issuance of the document of compliance or demonstrated for issuance of the interim document of compliance. Point 3. The company has planned the internal audit of the ship within three months. Point for the master and officers are familiar with the safety management system and the planned arrangements for its implementation. Point 5. Instructions, which have been identified as being essential, are provided prior to sailing, and. Point 6. Relevant information on the safety management system has been given in a working language or languages understood by the ship's personnel. Interim safety management certificate may. Be issued 1. To new ships on delivery 2. When a company takes on responsibility for the operation of a ship which is new to the company 4. 3. When a ship changes flag An interim safety management certificate should be issued for a period not exceeding six months by the administration or an organization recognized by the administration. An administration or, at the request of the Administration, another contracting government may, in special cases, extend the validity of an interim safety management certificate for a further period, which should not exceed six months from the date of expiry. Document of Compliance 1. Ship should be operated by a company which has been issued with a document of compliance or with an interim document of compliance. Two, document of compliance should be issued by the administration or by an organization recognized by the administration for a period specified by the administration which should not exceed five years. 
3. Document of compliance is only valid for the ship types explicitly indicated in the document. Such indication should be based on the types of ships on which the initial verification was based. Other ship types should only be added after verification of the company's capability to comply with the requirements of this code applicable to such ship types. Validity of a document of compliance should be subject to annual verification by the administration or by an organization recognized by the administrations within three months before or after the anniversary date. Document of compliance should be withdrawn by the administration or, at its request, by the contracting government which issued the document when the annual verification required is not requested or if there is evidence of major nonconformities with this code. All associated safety management certificates and or interim safety management certificates should also be withdrawn if the document of compliance is withdrawn. Copy of the document of compliance should be placed on board. Copy of the document is not required to be authenticated or certified. Safety management certificate. Safety management certificate should be issued to a ship for a period which should not exceed five years by the administration or an organization recognized by the administration. Validity of the safety management certificate should be subject to at least one intermediate verification by the administration or an organization recognized, if only one intermediate verification is to be carried out and the period of validity of the safety management certificate is five years, it should take place between the second and third anniversary dates of the safety management certificate. Safety management certificate should be withdrawn by the administration or, at the request of the administration, by the contracting government which has issued it when the intermediate verification required is not requested, or if there is evidence of major nonconformity with this code, when there is a renewal verification of document of compliance and safety management certificate. Case 1. When the renewal verification is completed within three months before the expiry date of the existing document of compliance or safety management certificate, the new document of compliance or the new safety management certificate should be valid from the date of completion of the renewal verification for a period not exceeding five years from the date of expiry of the existing document of compliance or safety management certificate. Case 2. When the renewal verification is completed, and three months before the expiry date of the existing document of compliance or safety management certificate, then the new document of compliance or the new safety management certificate should be valid from the date of completion of the renewal verification for a period not exceeding five years from the date of completion of the renewal verification. Safety management certificate is required as per SOLAS 1974, Regulation 9 fourths and as per ISM Code, Paragraph 13. A safety management certificate shall be issued to every ship by the administration or an organization recognized by the administration. The administration or an organization recognized by it shall, before issuing the safety management certificate, verify that the company and its shipboard management operate in accordance with the approved safety management system. Document of compliance is required as per SOLAS 1974, Regulation 9 fourths and as per ISM Code, Paragraph 13. A document of compliance shall be issued to every company which complies with the requirements of the ISM code. A copy of the document shall be kept on board. Procedure for obtaining document of compliance and safety management certificate. Obtain interim document of company. Obtain interim safety management certificate. Internal audit of ship. Internal audit of office. Full term document of compliance. Full-term safety management certificate. Functional requirements as per safety management system. Every company should develop, implement and maintain a safety management system which includes the following functional requirements. Point 1. A safety and environmental protection policy. Point 2. Instructions and procedures to ensure safe operation of ships and protection of the environment in compliance with relevant international and flag state legislation. Point 3. Defined levels of authority and lines of communication between, and amongst, shore and shipboard personnel. Point for procedures for reporting accidents and nonconformities with the provisions of this code. Point five procedures to prepare for and respond to emergency situations, and point six procedures for internal audits and management reviews. Company responsibilities and authority. 3.1 If the entity who is responsible for the operation of the ship is other than the owner, the owner must report the full name and details of such entity to the administration. 
3.2 The company should define and document the responsibility, authority and interrelation of all personnel who manage, perform and verify work relating to and affecting safety and pollution prevention. 3.3 The company is responsible for ensuring that adequate resources and shore base support are provided to enable the designated person or persons to carry out their functions. Designated Person, S. To ensure the safe operation of each ship and to provide a link between the company and those on board, every company, as appropriate, should designate a person or persons ashore having direct access to the highest level of management. The responsibility and authority of the designated person or persons should include monitoring the safety and pollution, prevention aspects of the operation of each ship and ensuring that adequate resources and shore base support are applied, as required. Master's Responsibility and Authority 5.1 The company should clearly define and document the master's responsibility with regard to Point 1. Implementing the safety and environmental protection policy of the company Point 2. Motivating the crew in the observation of that policy Point 3. Issuing appropriate orders and instructions in a clear and simple manner Point for verifying that specified requirements are observed and Point 5. Periodically reviewing the SMS and reporting its deficiencies to the shore base management 5.2 The company should ensure that the SMS operating on board the ship contains a clear statement emphasizing the master's authority. The company should establish in the SMS that the master has the overriding authority and the responsibility to make decisions with respect to safety and pollution prevention and to request the company's assistance as may be necessary. Various definitions as per ISM code. ISM code. International Safety Management, ISM, Code means the International Management Code for the safe operation of ships and for pollution prevention as adopted by the Assembly, as may be amended by the organization. Observation Observation means a statement of fact. Made during a safety management audit. And substantiated by objective evidence. Non-conformity Non-conformity means an observed situation where objective evidence indicates the non-fulfillment of a specified requirement. Major non-conformity. Major non-conformity means an identifiable deviation that poses a serious threat to the safety of personnel or the ship or a serious risk to the environment that requires immediate corrective action and includes the lack of effective and systematic implementation of a requirement of this code. Objective evidence. Objective evidence means quantitative or qualitative information, records or statements of fact pertaining to safety or to the existence and implementation of a safety management system element, which is based on observation, measurement or test and which can be verified. Company Company means the owner of the ship or any other organization or person such as the manager or the bareboat charterer who has assumed the responsibility for operation of the ship from the ship owner and who, on assuming such responsibility, has agreed to take over all duties and responsibility imposed by the code. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe this video among your friends and colleagues. Join our Telegram channel for latest maritime updates and exams preparations.